Hi, John here from Up for Excel. Event-driven procedures in VBA. So what is an event-driven procedure? Well, if I just enable the content on this spreadsheet at the moment, and we'll go to the VBA editor with Alt F11. Within each project, you typically have modules, and this module has this uh, just this message box subroutine that just shows hello from up for Excel. Now, what we also have is all these sheets listed and the workbook. So if we just click on a sheet for the moment, we get another code window, and we could actually just put our code in there if we want. We don't have to put it in modules, but modules just make things a bit clearer. But inside a sheet, if we drop down here and say worksheet, we automatically get given a subroutine called worksheet selection change. Now that subroutine will run the moment somebody changes something on that worksheet. And so that's the first worksheet one. But also over on the right hand side, you can see if we drop down here, we have a whole host of other things that we can use. So for example, a um, activate, we click on activate, we get a subroutine called worksheet activate. And that code, whatever code we put into that subroutine will run every time that sheet is clicked on, on within the spreadsheet. So if I put that on sheet one, every time you click on sheet one, this code will run. So if I put a uh, message box on here, it's just saying, uh, hello, for example, and that's worksheet activate for worksheet one. I go back to that spreadsheet. The moment I click on worksheet one, you'll see we get a message. Hello. Okay. If we click on this workbook, then we can have stuff at workbook level. And the first, very, very first one it picks is workbook open. Any code we put in there will run when the workbook opens. Now, there are a hundred of, well, it's not a hundred, but there's a lot of other things you can use that activates with the workbook. For example, before print, before close, deactivating it, adding new sheets, adding charts, doing stuff with uh, pivot tables, for example. So a whole load of stuff to explore there. Make sure you check out the other videos on Up for Excel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon as well to get notified of the next videos coming out and I'll see you soon.